welcome back to our channel I'm back with another grocery haul my kids are just going through our fruits and vegetables like crazy I have probably bought more fruits and vegetables now than in any time um, I think they're growing I know my baby's growing he's eating more fruits and vegetables still not a big meat eater not a big carb eater so even though he's only 11 months he's eating fruits and vegetables three times a day just himself so we are back with another Costco haul I spent right at $800 now you'll see a lot of fruits and vegetables you'll see a couple of other things but I was gonna do a pantry challenge this month and just kind of eat down all those odds and end things like I have jerk chicken seasoning that I can use for a meal I have um, other side items that I can add to different things so I'm really looking at in the next six weeks doing a pantry challenge I would like to go even further and do one for three months I think I have enough because we buy rice in bulk we buy pasta in bulk um, we buy a lot of things um, and just do a really minimal grocery budget pretty pretty tight so you'll see lots of extra things like different cheeses different like salamis and pepperoni like I have a lot of that stuff in the freezer that we can make charcuterie boards with or just different things like I have plenty of flour plenty of sugar the kids can bake they can make you know treats and different things like that so really this grocery haul was kind of like to set us up so that we can use the odds and ends it doesn't mean that I want like my household things to go down because that would just cost you more money so I always keep two laundry detergents I always keep you know two downy I always keep extra toilet paper um, paper towels so that I'm not running out in the middle of the month and trying to buy toilet paper or which after this fiasco let's just face it everybody's hoarding a little bit of toilet paper so I, I just don't want to have to go back and get those little things with food you can generally substitute something else if it says thicken it with flour you can thicken it with cornstarch and vice versa um, you don't have broccoli use green beans like there's always something that you can substitute um, that you can you can make you know different meals work um, so I love doing that and and actually sometimes we find out we like them better so we have like two huge bags of rice cauliflower we have a lot of things in our freezers that we can use up and use with different meals we are getting our pig I bought a little bit of ground beef not you know anything crazy just one package and I did buy some more bison but um, we're getting a pig I don't necessarily want to eat all my meat up but I have plenty of meat to use in the in the meantime so let me show you guys this is a huge grocery haul we will start with bread now I know I said we are starting to eat less bread products and then you see the spread so let me explain I'm fixing to do I have a couple different things in my freezer I have like sausages I bought some other Canadian bacon and I'll make bagel sandwiches now remember there's six of us so if we choose to have a bagel breakfast sandwich or an English muffin one we we will use six of them so that's one package and yeah there's six in here one package at one time so this is really like for breakfast and the same thing with the English muffin so I got these that I'm gonna make bagel breakfast sandwich I got two everything and I got two plain these were yeah mix and match um, two for $5.99 so I got two sets of these so I'll either make um, I have two different types of sandwiches I want to make so I'll make some on bagels um, the boys really like this and then to do a little bit less carbs because I know these are higher in carbs We did get some English muffins. I got two twin packs of these so these are these have nine in a pack So it seems like a lot, but I want these to last over the next three months. So I got called back into work So I'm on the schedule which means two Sometimes three days a week. I'm out of the house. So if kids are going to grandparents house or you know we're going out of town which we do to visit my family sometimes once a week you know this is just something easy we can grab in the morning and go and sometimes I'll let them even eat these in the car so these are not to be consumed in the next four weeks or even in the next week these are to be consumed in you know the next two two three months um, as we need them I also got some hamburger buns and hot dog buns we're getting together for Father's Day weekend we're not going 
out and about, so we'll just meet up with family. So we're going to grill brats and hot dogs and um, steaks. And, so, and most of that I have in the freezer except the steak. So I just needed this. So this is going to feed two. Maybe even my family might be coming in to town just for that day. So I got nervous. I'm like, ooh, let me buy some extra. If not, I might just use this. Remember, I have an 8-year-old and a 13-year-old boy that have no dietary restrictions and no problems gaining weight um, or losing weight. So, I mean, if my 13-year-old teenager decides, hey, I want, I'm hungry, like, he can eat sausages and hot dogs, and he'll eat two to three at a time. So I'll freeze some of these if we don't use them. But again, I'm going to try to do more of like a pantry challenge. The kids are also one day going to have, I have make homemade sloppy joe mix, so they'll use some of this as like a lunch. Um, and then also for that 13-year-old boy, he's my croissant my croissant kid so he'll use some of that I got one bag of tortilla chips um, corn then I got some of these paleo bars these are more for my husband when he wants a snack um, he's been doing really well he's been trying different things that he normally wouldn't eat and this is one that he seemed to like and it's really just oats and and nuts and stuff like that um, I got now listen this is oh, that's for the 13 year old too um, I got some organic dark chocolate and this is 72 caco powder um, chocolate and then wild main blueberries so this has when you subtract the fiber it's really not that bad I think it's like 10 um, for like three big pieces and I would only eat one so chocolate is to be savored we try not to scarf it down so as far as vegetables now I got some hummus and different things still left in the fridge and I got some more but we got some of these mini snacking peppers. These are always a favorite. We got one 10 pound bag of potatoes. What we're doing as far as like me and the girls and even my husband is that we're trying to do one no carb meal, one low carb meal and one like moderate, you know, just because, you know, we want to be realistic and, you know, their kids are starting to swim and the pool's getting done. So we want them to be able to have a little bit of carbs too, especially if they're swimming all day, they're going to need something or they're just, not, it's not going to be good. A 10 pound bag of onions because I use onions in everything. I got two things of avocado. Guys, this is great for, I, I know I've said it before, my baby will eat a whole one. But also too, just to put some tuna fish on it, makes a great low carb snack. I got a thing of lemons. Um, we're doing a water challenge, which I'll tell you about later. Um, actually, I'll just tell you about it right now. So we got these cups. Every single person got a cup. They're 64 ounces, and they're those motivational cups. So, you know, drink more, ready, go, keep it up. Yes, you can, no excuses. So we're, the three teenagers, myself and my husband, are drinking two of these just to increase our water. So I did buy the lemons to put some of this in. I have a smaller one for the eight-year-old that's about half the size, so he drinks like one to two of those is his challenge. Um, and this is just to get more water. Nothing in it. No crystal light, no, nothing just natural or maybe just lemon, but no sweeteners or anything. And just, I mean, our bodies are 70% water, so we really should be drinking a fair amount of water. So again, lemons, avocados. I got one thing of kiwi. Um, my baby really likes kiwi. The kids really like kiwi. It's not too bad with maybe a scoop of almond butter. Two things of white mushrooms. Now I know this looks like a lot of fruit and vegetables and let me just pause to say. So at any time, if any of these fruits and vegetables start to look a little iffy or they're gonna go bad and I can't get to them, I will always cut my mushrooms up, I'll flash freeze them. If my strawberries start to go bad, I'll cut the tops off, I'll stick them in the freezer. Anything that you buy at some point can be frozen or mixed into a meal. I might do a little bit of meal prepping now that I'm going back to work, but I won't let any of these things go bad. Um, I just don't like to waste money on fruits and vegetables and it's just, you know, it's not necessary when we have freezers. So um, we'll just make sure that none of this stuff um, goes bad. And we also got two bags of this organic mixed squash. Again, at one time, I'll cook a whole thing of this up and make like six meals for the baby and he will eat this, the squash, the zucchini, carrots, sweet potatoes, whatever I mix up and I'll pre-make his food um, so that this is one meal. And sometimes he'd rather have his vegetables than, you know, have other things. So 
Um, this is really good. I make the whole thing up at one time. So this will be one this week and one next week. So this will be gone, just him in two weeks. Uh, let's see, I got a bag of Brussels sprouts. We plan to do some different things. These aren't the kids' favorite, but they'll eat them. Um, anytime that you know people say, oh, my kids don't eat vegetables, I get that. They only ate, I think, green beans three years ago. And we slowly, like every time, have made them try different things. Remember, your taste buds are constantly changing, so just keep introducing things. We got some fresh organic green beans. There's not many things that I have to have organic if the whole family's eating them, but there are things that, um, I think it's, is it the Dirty 30 or something, um, that certain things need to be organic and other things are okay. I got one thing of pears, and I like these pears. Last time they didn't get soft for about two weeks, so it enabled us to eat all of our berries and all of our cherries, and then one day we, we made lunch for everybody and everybody grabbed a pear and the pears were gone at one time just because of how many people we have. But these are great because these, along with some other fruits and vegetables, they'll last longer than a week, which gives us time to eat things like kiwis or strawberries and cherries. And um, we're able to kind of like balance our fruit and vegetables out that way. We also got two things of Rainer cherries. Guys, my husband loves these. And he's doing really good as far as staying away from the sweets. Doesn't mean we don't all want sweets, but he's doing really good as having like fruit when he wants, when he's craving sugar. And generally, my baby's playing in the background. Sorry about that. Um, he generally, these were $5.99. He'll generally eat these as a snack and, you know, I'll usually participate in that. We got one thing of red table grapes. Um, three packages of strawberries. Guys, when I bought these last time, two packages were gone in one day. So again, we're gonna, we might have family here. If not, we are gonna be seeing family. So we will um, definitely go through this. I got two things of English cucumbers, uh, two things of bananas. Again, my baby eats one every day. This is a five pound container of oranges. These were like $4.99. They were a great price back here I did get pork rinds I am I saw some recipes where people use pork rinds um, people use pork rinds to put as a binder so I want to try some of that I just had to hide these from the 13 year old he'll get hot sauce lime and they're gone next thing you know you're looking for them and there you can't find them so I got one big thing of broccoli I did get some frozen broccoli but I did want to get some fresh because we'll roast this and use this for different dips. I got one thing of pink lady apples. It always makes me nervous. Like, I just feel like that's a lot of plastic. I mean, I guess there's plastic with everything, but it's just a lot of plastic. I got one thing of tomatoes. We'll use these for burgers on salads. I got, these were interesting. I got um, apricots or apricots, however you want to say it. I got some of those also. My husband, again, is a huge fruit lover. We're going to swing around here. I did get one Charmin. So I am hoarding toilet paper a little bit. I'm not scared to admit it. When you have two teenage girls, boys, husband, you, you worry about these things. We got one thing of these um, sprouted pumpkin seeds to use. I'm going to try to make like a trail mix because I do have some of that dried fruit. I still have those apricots and different things left. Two things of bacons for salads when we do more like uh, carb-free lunches. This will be good to add a little bit more protein. We did get we did get another maple syrup. So I started making yogurt every week and I make a gallon of yogurt. The baby eats it daily. The kids will eat it with fruit. I know it's good. Baby can have maple syrup, can't have honey yet. So I've been sweetening it with this organic um, maple syrup. One thing on macadamia nuts now, I almost didn't buy these because these were like $19.99. But if you've ever bought macadamia nuts, they're terribly expensive. So I thought that was a good deal. It's 24 ounces, one and a half pounds. Um, it does have sea salt on it, but I uh, these are the best nuts as far as um, like carbs. So I just wanted a little bit when I want a snack and I'm trying to behave. I want to 
to have some nuts and we're not perfect with it we're just trying to do some lifestyle changes as opposed to like a diet just so things are attainable and doing things at different meals is how we're trying to achieve that um, this is another kind of like snack that we got so when we're craving something chocolatey it's chocolate I'm sorry coconut almonds with dark chocolate so you could just have a handful of those we did get one downy unstoppable i like to put a little bit of this in with like towels and things and then i did need some seasonings i got some oregano i got some fine black pepper and some crushed red pepper we i season a lot of food i make my own mixes so we go through a lot of different things like this and i make my own taco sauce and we like things a little spicier now because it is Father's Day weekend. My husband wanted steaks. <sighs> Guys, I will be so happy when we get our cow because these were these are expensive. They were eleven ninety nine a pound for beef ribeye. And I bought two packs. We won't eat a whole steak, like me and the girls won't eat a whole steak. My husband probably will, but I don't know how many people are gonna be there, so I got eight. Bet you if I let them eat it, they would do that. Um, I did get some ground beef. This wasn't a terrible price. It was $3.89, but everywhere there's signs saying, we're sorry about price increases. It's the manufacturer. It's not us. And then I also got some ground bison. Um, I know this says, oh, June 19th. I'm going to have to cook that. It's okay. I bought that with the purpose of making chili, and today is... The 15th, so I guess I'm making chili this weekend. Keep, as we keep going, we did get another hummus. Like I said, the cucumbers, the the broccoli, the snacking peppers. We like the hummus. We did get some salami pieces. Guys, I know it's processed. Yes, you got you got to pick your battles with some things. I did get some of this Canadian bacon. This was like $4.99, $5.99. Have to check my receipt, but it's two packs. And what I figured is I have one daughter that she'll eat ground sausage and food, loves it. She hates sausage on like breakfast sandwiches. So what I thought is I only have like 24 sausages. So I'll do half with Canadian bacon, egg, and cheese. And I'll do the other half or I'll do 24 of them with sausage. And that way she can have something that she likes. Um, I got one thing of the Costco butter. I had another four pack. Again, I could have maybe waited on this, but I want to do a grocery challenge and I'll let you know about that. And my restrictions are gonna be pretty tight. Um, sour cream, I got two of these now. The only thing is, is at Sam's, I do like to buy them because they're two of these, they're five. So I'm gonna also try to make sour cream. And I'm wondering if you could do it like you would do yogurt. I know when I read the book, it said if you cooked it a little bit longer, it got sour, more like a sharper taste, which would be more like sour cream. So I might do that. We'll, we'll come back to that. I did get some frozen, frozen broccoli. These have the one pound bags, which is great. If it's only half of us eating that week, then I can do one bag. If everybody's here, I can do both bags. And then as one of these, because see, I know we got bread, but remember, we're trying to do lifestyle changes and try to substitute some of this stuff out. So I did get these Parmesan phyllo wraps. These were interesting. Like, I guess you can cook them or melt them, wrap them, roll them, make different, make different things, taco shells. I thought these were cool. So I will actually freeze um, one of these and leave the other one in the fridge. Um, but that was just something that I wanted to try. I'm going to do some meal prep tonight, and we've only got two eaters tonight, so or three, so we'll make these. I did get one of these organic milks. So we have prepped some for different things coming up. So we have prepped some things. We've prepped to have water. We have Gatorade that should take us through the summer when they need some little electrolyte replacement and they're sweating a lot. We've done we've done things like that. We have rice, we have some cans, but I'm not trying to prep for forever. I have extra flour, I have extra sugar, I have things, staples that we would run out of and given the current situation, things that have run out, I now stock. Fruits and vegetables were never an issue. We have a fruit market down the stand or down the road. 
so it hasn't been difficult to get fruits and vegetables the meat yes i understand we've we're buying whole animals i actually have a cow that's at the butcher and she should be ready i want to say monday or tuesday i think they're smoking the bacon a little bit and the ham pieces so we'll be getting her again if you follow watched any of my videos you know we're getting a lamb in august i'm getting a chicken with my pigs too i'm getting six roaster chickens and then we're getting a cow in march so as far as meat i already feel like i'm stocking up on meat i'm really just buying meat now to stay afloat until i get my whole cow and my whole pig and all my little animals so there are things though that for the baby i just want to make sure so i got this milk because he is about to be 11 months so he at some point in the next three or four weeks he'll start having milk and i just thought this was great we are also thinking about going on our trip and i thought this was good to take with us and i can put it in his bag and he can have it at an airport or different things like that so you know it's shelf stable it's whole milk um, organic so and it's vitamin it's already got its vitamin D in it so I thought these were good not just for hurricane prepared preparedness also so that he can have them like if we travel or I'm not able to keep milk in a fridge I'm not worrying about something going bad or trying to find him milk the same thing with this box of coconut water this is also what he drinks so I thought these were really convenient I could just open them up and pour them into a sippy cup so that's why we got those but this is this is kind of like his little stock up we also got some crackers sometimes when we do a charcuterie board you want a couple of crackers along with some of your snacking peppers we got some um, Parmesan Reggiano cheese. This is for salads. Um, we got two sets of baby bells. My husband really likes goat cheese. He says that in Mexico they have a lot of goat's milk, so he really likes fresh goat cheese. I don't know. We tried this. This is a lady was there. She was so cute. She was an older lady. And she's like, oh, honey, have you ever tried the butter? I'm like, oh, I love the butter. She goes, oh, try the cheese. And I said, yes, ma'am. So I tried it. So this is a Kerrygold um, dub liner cheese. So she says, it's a little sweet. So I said, yes, ma'am, I'll try it. So sometimes you just got to listen to people that are older than you. Uh, um, we got some New York extra sharp cheddar. So these are slices, 44 deli slices. This is going to go with these bagel sandwiches um so that's why i got that this was just again if we do a charcuterie board and if there's people coming this weekend i'll i'll freeze some things and then i'll just pull it out and i'll have something i have olives multiple different kinds of olives and peppers and just different things so a, a nice cheese i also got this asiago cheese um what else this also, I heard was really good. This is a, a Vermont cheddar cheese. We got, now these I'm gonna put in the fridge because, again, we're gonna do that challenge and I can pull one of these out instead of going to the grocery store. So these have Swiss, Colby Jack, cheddar, and Monterey Jack, all within the same thing. So it's two pounds, so I guess half a pound of each so got some of that of these mozzarella snacking cheeses i got five dozen of the costco eggs i have two and a half dozen in the fridge but remember i'm fixing to make 50 breakfast sandwiches at least so i will use a flat of these we're also going to boil some of these and then with the kids baking we'll go through these really quick um, I did get a dunkin donuts coffee it was completely out of coffee and this is what said this is what started my whole, let me do one more one month grocery haul before we do like our pantry challenge because I really need coffee and that's gonna be a huge part of my budget. So I wanted to make sure we were set up at least for that. Then I also got some of these, just if somebody wants like um, like a sweet treat. They're, they look like little bit like biscottis or something cookies and there's 25 packs but there's three in a pack. They're like almonds, they're, they're the super thin ones. I figured, oh, we could open this and like each have one, I don't know. And then just these, I know these things are terrible. It's probably all kind of processed. However, for some reason, the kids just love Jamaican beef patties. So we buy them. So guys, that is our grocery haul. We spent $809.79. So 
the steaks alone were probably a hundred dollars and I know people are like oh that's a lot of money if you're on a budget well we're not going out to eat and we have a going out to eat budget so we'll just take that out of that and that's about seven hundred dollars um, and then we also got some household things that were about 75 so we still have two hundred dollars if we were doing our normal eight hundred dollar grocery haul the kids are really eating a lot more as they're getting older especially the boys as you know they're going through all their little you know growth changes so we might have to up our budget but what we're really going to try to do is we are going to try to do a pantry challenge we are waiting for the whole covid thing to pass and when it does we're headed to mexico for two and a half weeks we have family there my husband hasn't been there in 30 years the kids have never been so we're ready to go we're just waiting so i don't want to have a ton of food in my fridge and freezer so what we're going to do is we're going to try to do more of a challenge we're supposed to go in the middle of September which July August so that's like two and a half months so what is that four eight nine ten ten eleven weeks I really think that I could do a grocery challenge and spend a hundred dollars every two weeks I know with what you see in the grocery haul but a lot of the different snacks different things we've had over the last couple of months the dried fruit i have some fruit in my freezer i really think just buying milk because i buy i make my yogurt if i could make my yogurt my sour cream i have cheese now i have another block of cheese if we could kind of keep our fruits and vegetables going and just buy milk and we have plenty of flour and let the kids bake as far as tortillas i have masa i can make tortillas so there's ways that we could definitely stretch um, the supplies that we have. I have a ton of oatmeal. We can have oatmeal for breakfast, eggs, a lot of things like that. I can get five dozen eggs from Walmart. Well, my husband can. I don't really go into Walmart. I don't, it drives me crazy. But he'll go into Walmart and he'll buy five dozen eggs for four fifty. So I really think if I'm, if I really plan my meals, I could probably do eleven weeks. That's my goal. If for some reason if something happens with COVID, and we have to push our trip back, then we will do a strict meal plan challenge where we still try to push it as far as we can. Now, that does not mean we're trying to eat up our whole pig or all our chickens um, or anything like that. It just means conscious of what we're spending. I, like I said, I have two huge bags of cauliflower rice and we've been, um, and the kids don't even know, we've been taking our meals like say I do a Mississippi roast and I'm taking half the rice and substituting it for rice cauliflower and they don't know so I've cut carbs and they don't they don't really recognize it so um, one of them goes mm, the 13 year olds like it doesn't fill me up as much so he's just I mean he's just ripping through this house like it's no tomorrow as far as food but as far as everyone else they're adjusting to the changes well um, so we're gonna see how far we can push it again my baby drinks milk um, different milks so we're having to also keep that into a budget and it's $5.99 for half a gallon we'll have to be very vigilant and purposeful but I think we can do it and then when we get back we'll just have a bigger haul than this so again this is my grocery haul it was 809 family of seven and this is going to hopefully last us the fruit and vegetables will definitely last us two weeks but we're hoping that the rest of this making some breakfast sandwiches making some different things i also um before i go i have like a half a bag of like sam's pancakes and i will bulk cook those one day and i will put those in the freezer so i can pull out a bag and kids can eat them for a couple days so um oh so i think we are newer to Costco. We have only been doing Costco. Oh, you can tell, look, wall redone. Well, wait, raw, this wall's been redone. This wall has not. Um, we have been doing Costco and Sam's. And I think when we break it down, we just really like Costco better. I think having Costco a little bit further away than Sam's keeps me more on a budget. So I'm pretty sure we're just gonna do Costco starting in July. 
I don't know, just fell in love with Costco. I can't help it. And I really think like their fruits and vegetables, they just last longer. The the things that I've the things that I've gotten so far, I haven't had a problem. I just find that sometimes Sam's produce and just like Walmart and Publix, all of it goes bad and Costco for some reason just lasts me a lot longer so that I'm able to buy things in bulk and not have to go to the grocery store as much. I feel like I spend less when I go to the grocery store um, less, less often. Um, I'm actually, when I went to Publix, I would spend $300 a week just on fruits and vegetables, meat, and whatever little things we needed. And that was when we had less people. So I really think that it's it's beneficial to do little grocery fill-in hauls. Um, I took it from Sarah from our tribe of many. She goes, I want to month grocery shop. And I'm like, I want to do that. So we are doing that and we do little fill-in hauls and we're just gonna now do a pantry challenge and see how far we get. So as always, thank you for visiting. If you like um, our channel, please subscribe. We have our wall video that I think came up today where we redid this wall. We're working on our pool, doing a bunch of home renovations, getting ready to travel and have some adventures. So we'd love for you to join us and have a great day everybody, stay safe.